here for this segment. These people are too big. Humse, humse to na ho paega. So we had someone who is a specialist in this field come in. He is an award-winning entertainment journalist, and his show, um, Bollywood Talks, has been so famous for so many years. It has a global outreach. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome our host, Farid Faridun Sherryar, sir. That's right, Faridun Sherryar. Good evening, how are you guys doing? How does it feel to be back in person events after pandemic? Great, great. I think you can be louder, you, you guys can be louder, just have fun. Okay, so we have, uh, we have a very special panel today in uh, Cult of Creative. Uh, we are in a very interesting space right now where uh, both uh, cinemas, cinema theatres as well as OTT platforms, they are ruling the roost and uh, it's a very, very interesting uh, cusp as far as the entertainment industry is concerned. Uh, the stage is all yours. The stage is yours, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, I would like to first of all invite uh, Mr. Kabir Khan. You, you know who he is. An extraordinary uh, mind of, and uh, a very, very important voice in the entertainment uh, world. Kabir, if you can please join us. Thank you. And All right, we have with us uh, Nidhi Bish. Uh, she is the queen of uh, digital content, um, a lawyer, a casting director, as well as uh, an actor in movies. Uh, Nidhi, can you please uh, join us? Uh, please give a huge round of applause to Hardik Mehta. Uh, he is, uh, I think he's, he's, he's in a very, very interesting space. He has made movies like Kamiyaab, for example, which is a fantastic film uh, premiered at Busan. Uh, he has uh, also been part of some wonderful uh, series, especially The Couple in recent times, and uh, he has written uh, Patal Lok as well. Uh, finally, we have Suresh Trivedi, uh, a very, very fine director, an ad man. He has uh, directed some fantastic advertisements at the same time he has uh, directed movies like Tumari Sulu and uh, Jalsa recently that premiered on Amazon so that's a OTT platform as well. So Suresh, can you please join us? Alright, please be honest. Yeah. And please be a part of this conversation. Listening is as much important part of conversation as the people who are talking. Thank you very much. All right, so first of all, uh, Kabir, as, as the title is uh, Cult of Creative, we are in a very interesting space as far as uh, cinema halls and OTT platforms are concerned. Uh, you've had a very unique experience that uh, you've had a film that has released in cinema halls, got extraordinary reviews, and then the third wave hit in. And now it has got a brilliant lease of life as, as, it, re as it released on OTT platforms and has done exceedingly well. How do you look at these, these two streams of uh, entertainment space as of now? Uh, good evening. Uh, I wish actually we, that, that dance performance was after us, because after that electric dance performance, I hope we don't bore the hell out of you. Uh, but yeah, for me, uh, 83 is a film that we sort of, you know, kept uh, and guarded and, uh, and wanted to release uh, once the pandemic was over and once the situation is, is uh, becoming better. But, you know, that's what life is. I think we went and released it on the worst day possible. Because now in retrospect, when you read that uh, the third day started on the 22nd of December, uh, believe you me, on the 22nd of December, we did not realize that the third wave was upon us. It's only when we released that within three days, Delhi shut down its theatres, four days later, another four states shut down the theatres in a week's time, 11 states had shut down the theatres is when we realized we were in, like, we were in a soup. Um, but having said that, you know, me, uh, Faridun, as a filmmaker, I don't make too much distinction between this whole debate of uh, 
theaters versus OTT because ultimately I'm a storyteller and I mean and I want my story to reach as many people as possible. Yes, of course, box office does reflect that you know uh, a lot of people have come and seen your film, but in this case, as you said, you know we were shut down within days of our release, but yet uh, when it came on the OTTs. Uh, and, and, and fortunately, we had a simultaneous release on Hotstar and Netflix. Uh, the deluge of, of the kind of messages that I got, I realized that now we finally sort of hitting the audiences that were waiting. And obviously, you know, one, one cannot blame the audiences because there was a fear uh, during the third wave. Generally, I mean, extremely close friends of mine could not get the courage to go to the theatre, so I cannot expect somebody who's not even connected to the film. So, uh, but having said that, today I'm in a happy space because it's reached now the people. You know, ultimately I always feel a film does reach the audience it's meant for. And in, in the case of 83, it's finally reached the audiences uh, uh, because of the OTT release. Alright, so Hardik, you, you've had a very, very interesting journey. You've been a script supervisor uh, with, with the guy that you wanted to work with. and. Um, you directed a fantastic film in Kamiya um, that I saw on Netflix and uh, you, you've written Patal Lok, you've recently directed Decouple recently, you've also directed Ruhi. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've been, uh, actually I've been a uh, pandemic's baby, I can say. Uh, my first film released on 6th March and 13th March 2020, all the theatres got shut. Um, so my, the first film came and Second, Ruhi came in uh, March 2021 and we were there in theatres for three weeks and then the second wave shut the theatres. So, now I am hoping and praying and crossing my fingers for my third film and my third producer that <laughs> they don't go through anything. But yeah, I mean, even Decoupled happened in such a way that Decoupled came and then the Omicron uh, the wave came in. But um, with Decoupled, at least the good part was that it was on Netflix. So, while everybody is suffering from Omicron, at least they can be locked inside the room and at least watch our show, you know. So, I mean, I, I can say that I have had advantage and disadvantage of, of the lockdown and pandemic in a way. But, uh, I mean, I would say advantage a lot more because even Patalo came on May 2020 and everybody was at home and everybody could, could watch that series and uh, we got the responses that we were not expecting. Uh, because we were thinking that there would be simultaneously so many films that would be coming to the Amazon series that we didn't have big names so to say because you know when Patalok was coming, Chaiti Bhai was also just uh, I mean coming up but with Patalok we just realized the importance of an actor than a star uh, you know and I think even in Kamiya Bhai kind of was trying to put that uh, and that actually kind of uh, you know uh, both came in May uh, 2020 and uh, simultaneously a lot of people uh, then from 2020 we could see the shift in the habits of uh, the and audiences that they are now um, uh, you know straight away in fact uh, today you might take two or three days to decide whether to go to cinema hall or not but if it's on ott you might as well just switch on at night and start seeing it like jalsa which is suresh's film i was so excited when i saw the trailer that the day it released at that night itself i saw the film which if it would have come to theaters i would have taken two days to probably go to cinema halls waited for the reviews or stuff like that but but thanks to thanks to uh, it being on Amazon Prime, I straight away uh, saw it. So I mean, I, I, I can see that there are both uh, both uh, advantage and disadvantages of being on OTT, but I would rather say advantage more uh, than a disadvantage. Right, so uh, Decoupled is primarily in English. I found that fascinating, you know, because there is a huge population that speaks and converses in English in a day-to-day -day, day -day manner in India. And India being this huge diverse country, many states, they don't understand their local languages, they converse in English. Uh, did you find that fascinating, that, that element of freedom that you got? Yeah, I mean, that was one of the primary reasons for me to do Decoupled was that it was in Indian English. You know, it was not the Babu English which you see some of the, when the people from West come to India and then when you show that even the waiters and even the different gentry are also speaking in English which is not the case in India. Like if we are speaking to my parents or my in-laws then I am going to switch to Hindi but when we colleagues are going to talk we are always going to, you know the urban colleagues are going to speak in English. So I think with Decoupled I had that uh, opportunity to experiment where we can have uh, the kind of urban language that in which we exchange and of course primary reason was also that Mr. Joseph the writer creator of the show who, his first language was also English so when he had written it I it was my uh, 
responsibility to ensure that this um, written material or the joke or the punch lands it as well without making us feel like it's made by somebody from outside but about India but character speaking in English you know so which is something that was a first time opportunity which I'm mean, also glad that Netflix gave us that complete freedom and we kind of found those actors who could do this automatic switch to Hindi to English so easily you know and it kind of became uh, a a topic that a lot of people, in fact, I, I was telling my producers that Decoupled is the show which was most discussed in all December parties because December everybody was meeting after uh, a year where we saw second wave and all, you know. So, so yeah, I mean, I, in, in a way, um, uh, thanks to OTT, again, we could, we could do, take an experiment like that, which otherwise, in the, in, the, in the past decade, it would have almost became, uh, say, a Rahul Bose kind of film, you know, which, I mean, sorry for the lack of that, but it almost, be, it would become that, but now no more it is that, you know. You can do that and you can, you can make, a, make the series or film in the language that you feel is the most apt of that world. Okay, so um, Nidhi, coming to you, um, you know, it, it, is, it is such an interesting journey that you've had. So I was, I was uh, just doing, doing my research on you and I just came to realize that you, you, you had a very unique predicament when you came to Bombay and you joined TVF that you were the only non-IIT uh, member of, of that group. Usually it is considered that, that entertainment space, you know, people, they, they are not very educated and, and, and uh, uh, maybe it, it breaks that myth and how you are a lawyer. How was that experience, first of all, to start with in the entertainment space? So, uh, yeah, so I studied law. Uh, so by qualification, I'm a lawyer. I always wanted to join the movies, like, but boy, ghar pe three idiots sarana ki pehle have a secure career and all of that, and then you have to tell them, ki dekho, I can make money, but this is not what I want to do. And luckily, I was lucky enough to convince my parents. Uh, also, I think probably the Ladli Bachi and the drama in me uh, helped me convince my parents, deliver a convincing performance. And how, uh, like, when I came to Mumbai and uh, when I discovered uh, these bunch of uh, uh, guys from IIT, as you rightly said, uh, one correction, small correction, I was not the only non-IITian though. Uh, there were quite a few. I mean, there were one or two people who were perfectionists, who were in six years in college, but they were out of degree. So there were two, three people like that also. Okay. Uh, it was a pleasant experience, yeah. We all came together because there was nothing for us to watch. So when we started, writing those sketches, uh, we were initially writing uh, towards something for us, like there was nothing, there was TV, movies, I didn't know what it was. So, we were just and there was a lot of angst, angst and observations. Uh, there was also, uh, you know, uh, every generation has a voice or uh, uh, at least I feel that I am a generation of a voice, right? I'm a voice of a generation. So, uh, like, uh, we used to feel that our uh, voice resonate not resonate. Like, you know, there's nobody to uh, 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 sort of that bouncing board that will tell you that this is right or it feels good, let's make it. So, that's how it all started, yaar. and then one thing led to the other. Uh, web shows happened, we decided to make permanent roommates. Uh, we all sat down, we were very clear that uh, humor is also like again permanent roommates the one liner of the show is nothing new nothing unique like two people fall in love and they want to live together uh, who will take a show like this but uh, when we got down to writing like each and every episode how the characters are going to uh, talk to each other the humor aspect of it the relationship and it was all uh, purely based on the experiences around us you know uh, we could see like a Tanya or a Mikesh around us like I had cool parents who allowed me to, you know, uh, go to this big city of dream, have a live-in relationship and all of that. So we were just uh, borrowing for our, from our life experiences and luckily so, there was a huge amount of uh, audiences which related with that uh, and they were like probably desiring for a content like that and that's how it all clicked here and we uh, some decade ago ki baat kar rahe. so that doesn't mean that I'm quite old but 
like but i do want to tell you that hardik is my oldest friend in mumbai not not age wise like yeah <laughs> no i think you, she got the loudest cheers i think um and uh, when she came over here of course um so uh, you know you you started off uh, in the digital space you've you've done movies as well how do you look at the the contrast the sort of popularity that you've enjoyed because of your digital uh, content compared to say the sort of movies that you've done you've done dream girl which is which is a, like a 100 crore film so yeah my background is theater i i i have done a lot of theater i uh, i trained in theater first in delhi i was uh, working uh, with ipta for a very long time indian people's theaters association when i was in jamia when i was studying in jamia and uh, then the whole web thing uh, sort of started with us through us and we were lucky enough we were at the right uh, place at the right time youtube was happening and of course movies has been around for forever like i have grown up watching hindi movies uh, सर ने एक था टाइगर बनाई है मेरा इंस्टा हैंडल है एक था पा टाइगर तो सो सो लाइक ही वेरी राइटली सेड लाइक यार हम लोगों को तो काम करना है हमें कहानियाँ बताने में मज़ा आता है हमें कहानियाँ लाइक आई थिंक आई लव द सेट एनर्जी आई थिंक मैं फील जॉब के लिए बनी हूँ आई ऑलवेज फील दैट आई लव द एनर्जीज ऑन सेट इट रेजोनेट्स विद हाउ आर रिहर्सल्स यूज टू बी इन थिएटर इट इज़ वेरी सिमिलर टू द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ making youtube videos when just four of us there were two actors and when the two actors are acting i am the spot girl who is holding the vada pav or also the makeup artist and when it's my turn to act or say those lines they'll come back and you know uh, they'll they'll do the needful so uh, i don't think mere liye uh, there's any category as such ki oh film mil gayi yaar duniya badal gayi oh ओ टी डी पे शो आ गया जीवन बदल गया इट्स मोस्टली टू डू विद आई गेट टू से वट आई वॉन्ट टू से आई गेट टू प्ले द रोल्स दैट आई वॉन्ट टू प्ले आई गेट टू मेक द स्टोरीज दैट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक एंड या आई थिंक एज लॉन्ग एज वी आर एबल टू रीच टू द मेजोरिटी ऑफ द ऑडियंसेज एंड दैट्स द गोल यार एंड वेरी राइटली ही सेड लाइक आई कुड नॉट वॉच एटी थ्री एंड आई वॉज लाइक जब हॉल्स में आई थिएटर में आई थी एंड मुझे कोविड हो गया एंड आई वाज लाइक अरे यार ये क्या हो गया आई बीन वेटिंग फॉर द एंड वी वॉल ग्रोन अप ऑन क्रिकेट एंड एवरीथिंग ना एंड द मिनट इट केम ऑन ओ मैंने तुरंत देखा यार एंड देर वाज नथिंग लॉस्ट इन ट्रांसलेशन इट्स नॉट लाइक कि वो थिएटर में मैं बहुत रोई यार टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द मूवी सर आई आई टॉक टू यू सेपरेटली अबाउट द द the experiences that i have had while watching the movie and i i think uh, ha yaar mere liye to similar experience hai i won't say much aap log 